Well, this is the tour of my pretty much finished chicken coop. Now, yeah, I built it mainly out of found wood. It was there was an old shed here. Obviously, I think it, no now know it was a chicken coop, but that whole face there was open. Half of that roof was caved in, and the other half on the uh, left hand side wasn't looking too good anyhow. And I only had to replace one roof. I can get up there. I don't know if you can see it. The white one came from a shed in the back. And all that red flashing on the front came from that old butcher shack that was full of pigeons. The guy was using it as shingles. And I turned it into flashing. Anyhow, all that red wood and a lot of the good wood in there came from the... Uh, the old pump house. The pump house, of course, was over there around the well that, uh, by that pole. And uh, it blew over in a, uh, what they call a, a haboob. That's a kind of a desert storm that happens. It's like a, a big blast of wind that kicks up all the sand and dust and it just travels like a wall. And in fact, uh, it happened, I was inside the tent on the other side there, and I, I looked out the, and I seen the house going over, the pump house going over, and I ran out, and by the time I got out there, there's a big wall, wall, traveling about 60 miles on a wall of dust headed towards Winnemucca. So anyhow, I picked up all the wood and Started working on this old clap shed. There's a whole bunch of trash that I took to the dump. And I wish I'd have saved it now because I could use it for firewood. Anyhow, let's open this booger up. Ah, come on. Ah, there you go. Now, there, there's my there's my nesting box. This is pretty much the way I want it now. But I'm uh, going to have to brace up them legs and throw some more dirt under them. Level it up a little bit. But I got, uh, I got them hitched to the, the back wall with those little bungee cords. And uh, I just put some, some long deck screws in there. Just, they're not in. The, they're not in. They're just holding it in. And anyhow, here's my uh, here's my solar power pods. I got three of them with batteries, and the inverters in them are shot. And I got that that big inverter on top from from the internet. Can't remember what internet site, but it's a two thousand watt, just like the inverters and in those things are two thousand. But you can only use one at a time. Anyhow. But anyhow, that's my solar power, and uh, here's a couple of lights hanging, running off the solar power. One of them's not hooked up, one of them is hooked up, this one ain't hooked up. Anyhow, just needs to be plugged in. Anyhow, here's my roost, and what I intend to do is uh, I'm going to get me some chicks, put them in a little... Uh, on them containers that you buy in a store. Put a heat lamp, because that's a heat lamp, but I lost the shade to it. I left it in California. But I'm gonna get me another one and I'm gonna use a heat lamp and keep them warm and everything. I'm not sure I wanna do it in the winter time. Because chicks take about six months before they can, you know, have their their feathers right so that they can have their temperature normal. There's a, I'm going to have to remove that, that wood over there, that piece of plywood. It's blocking the chicken uh, door to go out to the, uh, to the chicken run. Anyhow, like I said, I actually found the remains of a chick 
somewhere over in here when I was digging up the floor to level it out. I ain't got it perfectly level, but it's a lot better than what it used to be. Anyhow, let me close this door. There, there you go. I make all kinds of funny noises that drive some people crazy. Females in particular. Anyhow, here I got this uh, this piece of roofing. I got it kind of hanging over and I I put some screws at each end, and long screws to hold it down. And here's my double door. My double door. And uh, I got I got things. I got to change all that stuff. Here's my redneck country boy thing. Yeah, there you go. There's one door. Here's another. Ooh, look at that rain got got a little moisture in here a couple nights ago. How about that? Anyhow, I'm uh. Messing boxes, legs need to be braced up a little too. Yeah, I gotta kick it close. I usually put this right here. There you go. I got one at the bottom. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Anyhow, these uh, four by fours are found wood, of course, and so that's part of the that brace up there, part of the. Uh, pump house you can tell from the and these things I actually found oh, a whole bunch of it buried in the mound out there and I dug it up and I I used it to attach this and it attached pretty good the uh, hinges there come from various sheds and uh, this was the way I was gonna originally get the door closed but I did put some quick an eye on it uh, come on, I'll gun you. I guess I'm gonna have to get a. I'm gonna have to get me a a hammer out of the tool shed. Let's see. Let's go in the tool shed. All right. Yeah. There's some hammers in there. Now uh, that one's too big. Yeah, this one's too big too, but. It'll do. Nothing like a ball peen hammer. Take care of business. Yeah. Certain motorcycle clubs like that use these things as their their uh, weapon of choice. <laughs> That's what I hear. Anyhow, I done it. I got that thing a little. I'm gonna have to work on that. Anyhow, there you go. And uh, so I got these doors here. And uh, I got that piece of metal from uh, where I believe some guy sometime, probably 40 years ago, had a garden. And he was using that to, in a little spot in the fence, which I got. That uh, chain link was around with his garden area. And that was in, metal was in a low spot. I got it buried in the ground. Going to keep the cats out. Uh, I don't know what that guy had in that little compartment back there, but that's a bigger doorway than what's over there. So, could have been turkey. Who knows? Didn't have a lot of them if it was. Anyhow, this uh, chicken wire up here is, uh, I bought it. 100 bucks a roll, but I just couldn't find any usable stuff anymore that chain link right there is about all the good chain link there was everything else is so messed up i didn't want to bother with it anyhow mostly found wood even found screws i did buy some screws been about 20 bucks on screws yeah there you go let's see if i can't yeah i think i Need to work on that. No. Anyhow, there you go. That's most of it. 
Yeah, there's a roost. See, I put a roost in there for the in case they want to nap in the daytime. I put that pole on that, that one by three up there because I didn't want. I didn't. I didn't stretch it. It sure don't look professional. I'll admit that. But I got the. I got it draped over the top there and screwed down with uh, those two by six pieces there. And that's basically my junk pile right there. <laughs> Not really junk. Some of those fence posts are, they're bent. But I got a couple of, maybe about 10 good ones in there. And there you go. That is gonna be my chicken house. And I hope I got everything on here because I don't want to redo it. I'm too lazy for that. Ah.